choke to clear out. We'll take the diaphragm. If it's really, really hard on there, it won't slide off. Just take a hammer and hit it here, here, or here. But you usually loosen it up and then rock it back and forth and it'll slide right off. If you got a real big ridge right here, you have to back the brakes off. Oh, you've got a little grease on there. Your grease seal is leaking a little. Undo all of those. Pull in a couple different places and just get it to hold the cover so it don't fall in the pan. Let's get the axles out. Put the new shields in first. Now we got to turn the turn the drive shaft so this turns around because there's a pin see this big, mm -hmm. there's a locking pin on the other side you have to take that locking pin out and then that big pin comes out okay a little more a little more because I, I want to get out my water pin. yeah a little bit oh right there yeah these are in there pretty tight they got okay it breaks right Right there. It's your big pin. You gotta pull it out gently because you got these side gears, the mm -hmm. spider gears. They they like to fall out. Okay. There's, there's two clips. What you do is you push that rear end in a little bit. A little more. Okay. Let me get the C clip out. That's what holds your axle from falling out. Okay. See? Uh -huh. C clip. Now there's an opening right here. Actually, uh -huh. you can. You can turn this to where the opening, you can see the opening a little bit. So it's bit, down. But I, I can feel for it, and I, I just soon enough turn it in case something happens. Okay. It, see, these side gears will spin out of here. Okay. Okay, now Let pull go. the axle straight out. There you go. There it is. This is how you get the seal out. Use a, a screwdriver, but this is what I do. I just stick it right there on the edge. Be careful not to hit your bear roller bearing in there. There. Now we gotta clean this up. They do sell seal drivers. Mm-hmm. We put a board on here. That's what a seal driver is. It's flush. Okay. Now we wanna put a little lube on that. Ah. It helps it uh, when it first starts out. You slide this in, it's smooth for the rubber because it'll kind of distort the rubber. You just kind of slide it in. Go so far, and you got to be careful because you don't want to push the side gears out of the way. You got to kind of feel it. There's a, there's a, there's a tube. So I set it like that, and then I, I go in here, I take my two fingers and hold that side gear so it doesn't flop out of there. There's splines that have to line up. There. So, this is a side gear. This has been riding this way. See with the yeah. axle? Mm -hmm. So you just slide it in the, uh, you gotta move the axle in a little bit. There. You slide it in there like that. Look out. And it hides itself in that gear, so it keeps it there. That one's done. Now we gotta push that axle in. Turn them. So I push that in. Right there. Right there. Fell right through that other opening. There's a magnet right here. Metal of the wear gets collected right there. Mm, okay. That's why you should wipe this out before we fill it. See all the. Oh, that's all the that's metal. That's all metal. Real fine metal, mixed in with the grease. I just pull that shaft out of the. Yep, Excellent. pull the shaft up. Some people dig them out. They they jab a screwdriver in the side, you know, and, and collapse the metal part. Spray this clean now. Yeah. But you can see how that spring would jump off there with that much pounding on it, you know. Yeah. If it if it ever did, but you don't. So if I saw the spring right now, then right. I have to repull it. 
it takes a little touch, but there it comes. And because it's a C, I'm going to slide out, so I'm going to hold it there. So it. then I got to make sure that I get the silicone out of here. So then when you put it in park, what does that do now that it's in it park? It locks that drive shaft. So otherwise when I'm spinning this, it would just twist the axle around on the other side. So how tight do I want to yank this? Th there is a torque spec on it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. So we'll just go around, tighten these up. Okay, that one's done. We got another one ready. Rear differential with 80-90 weight. Okay, it's starting to spill over. That's how we can tell it's full. We just fill it up till there, and then we will put the cap on it. Around for a couple weeks, you know. And then refill and, it. And yeah, and then look under there again because uh, some of it's going to go down the tube.